Hi, this is David Ford, President and Founder of the Atlantic Gold and Silver Centre. Today is Tuesday the 14th of March 2017 and today we're going to have a look at some events that are happening this week that could start sending silver prices to the moon. Now during February uh, we saw quite a lot of people selling their silver. It's coming in selling silver, also selling gold and that is fairly normal for this time of year. We see people with tax bills, with bills left over from Christmas uh, and other expenses in the new year. Um, we do generally see a little bit of selling of silver and gold during February um, and the recent price rises, we've seen the price go up a little bit throughout January and February have also encouraged some people who might have been thinking about selling, uh, has encouraged them to cash out. However, that all changed for March. Um, the last two weeks, we haven't seen much gold buying, but we've seen a huge demand for silver. We have been selling out in both our stores. Demand has been very, very brisk. Uh, we are ordering stock in as fast as we can. We're getting, as soon as we get it in, people are buying it and taking it away. Uh, people are back ordering stock because they know it's coming in, which means as soon as it comes in the stores, for example, this week's Silver Maples, as soon as they're in the stores, they're all already sold out. So we are seeing very heavy demand last week and into this week uh, for silver. Now, why are we seeing such a huge demand now? Well, we already have the, the background of continued currency debasement, uh, increasing debt binges by Western governments. Uh, the fragility of the financial system is just getting worse. And many are worried that the end is nigh. Um, so many trigger points seem to be coming up in 2017 that uh, people are really, really starting to worry in a way they haven't done in the last couple of years. And we have many key events lined up this week. It's the Ides of March. Number one, we have got the US debt ceiling fiasco once again. The US Treasury will run out of cash on Thursday the 16th of March and will be forced to will basically force uh, departments of the US government to start closing down. Uh, Congress will, of course, be forced to raise the debt ceiling with the usual hoo-ha and uh, arguments about what's going to be cut and what's going to be taxed. Uh, but it'll be too late to actually avoid a government shutdown because they haven't really been looking at this issue. They've been focusing on Obamacare and the new incoming administration. So it's almost certainly going to have some sort of shutdown in the US government. Now, they've never refused before to... Uh, raise the debt ceiling and they're probably not going to refuse now. It probably will eventually get done but each time this happens and each time there's this brinksmanship it um, makes the bond markets in the US nervous that the US might not repay its debt and this uncertainty certainly favours gold and precious metals. <clears throat> Number two this week we have a Federal Reserve meeting, a two-day meeting <clears throat> Uh, March 14th to 15th and Yellen, Yellen uh, the chairman, chairwoman sorry, has been saying for quite some time that a rate hike may be appropriate at this meeting. Uh, many financial analysts now are really expecting this to be a rate hike and also to have even some more rate hikes this year. But uh, according to the own numbers that are coming out of the US, the economy isn't strengthening. There's no real justification for hiking now as opposed to how the figures were you know, six months ago, a year ago, two years ago. So is the Fed going to act or is it just going to play chicken again? Um, you know, jawboning all the right up to the moment saying, yes, you know, we're going to raise rates, we're going to raise rates. Uh, we're not going to raise rates. So there's a couple of scenarios. If they raise rates, um, the price of this is already, sorry, the, the effect of this has already been priced into a lot of the markets. People are expecting them to raise rates. If they raise rates, we'll probably expect gold to go up moderately. If they don't raise rates, we will probably get an initial smackdown in the precious metals prices. Uh, people love to jump on it to force it down, but it's going to be very positive in, uh, very shortly after that. Not raising rates after promising to raise rates will definitely drive precious metals prices higher. Now, the third thing that's going on, over to Europe. There is a Dutch election in Mar on March 15th. Um, Geert Wilders, I think that's how you pronounce it, is a populist opposition leader, and he is neck and neck with the ruling establishment party. If he gets in, he's vowed to close the Netherlands borders, shut down the mosques, leave the euro currency, and leave the European Union politically as well. Uh, he is neck and neck with the establishment party and in fact in some areas he's actually creeping ahead. So there is a, a good chance that this is going to really upset the apple cart in Europe. If Holland leave the European Union, uh, the trickle that started with Brexit may turn into a flood of countries wanting to leave. And really, if this happens, you know, the euro could be finished. Um, a win for 
uh, Holland leaving the euro will be a crash for the European, sorry, the, the euro currency. If the euro currency goes down, the US dollar will go up. If the US dollar goes up, gold will go down. So we have very many different things happening this week, some which will be positive for gold, some which could be negative for gold. Also still in Europe is Brexit. Now, this will probably be a done deal this week. We have had all the preliminary stuff. We've had the legal challenge that went through a little while ago. Uh, there's just the last couple of hurdles that are probably formalities in uh, the US House of Lords, equivalent to the Senate over here, and the UK government may be triggering Article 50 of the Lisbon Treaty, which is the formal declaration to leave the European Union, uh, maybe Tuesday today or Wednesday this week. If that happens, it would finalise and legalise the departure, and then the UK and Europe have two years in which to negotiate any new trade deals they want to enact. Um, if they don't negotiate anyway, anything, then everything that's currently in place just lapses and falls into disuse. Other items, there are a whole bunch of other reports, statistics, central bank speeches, and things due this week, and uh, there's a list behind me of all the stuff. Okay, so like I said, there's been a lot of buying so far in March, and this is silver which is not coming back onto the market. These are people who are buying and holding, putting it away for the long term. So we've had a very strong start to the year for silver prices. And so the question that I've heard before is, are silver prices going to the moon? Well, the answer is yes. Uh, the financial system and the fiat currency system that we use really is starting to be on the brink of collapse. People are very, very nervous all around the world. Now, we don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm pretty sure we're getting very close to liftoff. Thanks very much, and I'll see you again in a couple of weeks. Critical functions. T minus 17 seconds and count. 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 8, remaining start, remaining start, 2, 1, boost for ignition and lift off of the space shuttle discovery, returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond.